Sabre Strike was the first major exercise of 1st Cavalry Division's participation in this year's U.S. military presence in Atlantic Resolve. The exercise was conducted in several locations around Eastern Europe, involving different partner nations with varying military capabilities. One partnering unit that made the wet gap portion of Sabre Strike a success for 2-8 Cav involved U.S. Army Reserves from Arkansas. Reservists, yes. Force multiplier, you better believe it. Our mission this, uh, during this exercise was to, to facilitate maneuver across a uh, wet gap or in uh, layman's terms, a river or some type of uh, body of water. Helping perform that function is the 341st Engineer Company, an Army Reserve unit out of Arkansas. They are employing an IRB, an improved ribbon bridge, that is made primarily of aluminum and requires over 50 vehicles to transport. A functioning bridge that can go anywhere. Now that's something a commander of a heavy armored battalion can really appreciate. Obviously there's sometimes bridges can't support uh, the weight of our vehicles and this hel helps us find uh, opportunities uh, to get, again, get across and put power where uh, the enemy may not suspect that we have the capability of going. It adds to the complexity. It forces us to plan. It forces us to, uh, to prepare ourselves and our equipment. Uh, we have to deal with both uh, just the, the, the dilemma of the gap itself and also the dilemma of the enemy that's, uh, that it could be observing. Training exercises are always a great opportunity to evaluate unit readiness. Training in Poland around other NATO partners takes the value up another notch. For a reserve component, it's a chance to show and prove. We just uh, passed a bunch of uh, tracked vehicles over it, uh, some of the heaviest the Army has, and uh, we're still floating. The 2-8 CAV successfully took advantage of wet gap training and moved several of their armored vehicles across safely. But Sabre Strike and Atlantic Resolve in Europe proves this exercise has obvious training value, but it is also about collaboration across nations and also across services. Reporting from Poland for the 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team, 1st Cavalry Division, I'm Army Sergeant Ron Lee. U.S. Marine Joint Terminal Attack Controllers worked with German and Polish allies during Sabre Strike 15. Typically we come in to provide a joint allied and coalition forces that are working in the Marine AO, expertise in helping coordinating and deconflicting uh, their fires along with, with our fire. Marines from the 4th Air Naval Gunfire Liaison Company coordinated artillery, mortars, and close air support between the multinational force. Our job is to make sure all that goes smoothly and safely, along with maneuver elements moving underneath those fires. The exercise in Drosko Pomorski, Poland, focused on integrating a multinational force to work, move, and strike together. And these are the guys we're, we're going to fight with someday. And it's crucial that we know how they operate, they know how we operate, because when rounds start going down range, that's not the first time you want to be, uh, you want to be working with a partner nation. For Marine Forces Europe and Africa, I'm Sergeant Tatum Bayavananda.
check or nothing, give me a thumbs up. I'll make sure you're on comms. We're headed down. Yep, go. Push. Help me out. Mike, get moved. Eagle 6, Fox 6.
Soldiers from the U.S., the U.K., Romania, and Poland worked together to conduct a wet gap crossing in Poland as part of Saber Strike 18. Polish Warrant Officer Krzysztof Kovkin is part of the 15th Masurian Battalion who are conducting vehicle rescue operations. Battalion Super otrzymał zadanie wsparcia inżynieryjnego na rzecz pododdziałów innych specjalności, w tym przypadku Grupy Bojowej NATO. Z tych poddziałów wystawiamy przede wszystkim grupę ratunkowo-ewakuacyjną, która jest odpowiedzialna za ewakuację załóg zatopionego sprzętu na przeszkodzie wodnej. Przede wszystkim załogi, życie ludzkie jest najważniejsze po ewakuacji załogi i przekazaniu ich w bezpieczne miejsce realizujemy ewakuację sprzętu na brzeg. Przede wszystkim chodzi o zgranie wszystkich narodowości uczestniczących w tym ćwiczeniu, o porozumiewanie się i wspólne działanie podczas tego treningu. Tak jak było widać, dzisiaj się dogadujemy między sobą i wszystko sprawnie i bezpiecznie przede wszystkim. No i szybko to idzie. Także jest bardzo dobrze. Participation in multinational exercises such as Saber Strike enhances our professional relationships and improves overall coordination with allies and with partner militaries during times of crisis. From Bomowo Piski Training Area, Poland, I'm Specialist Steven Sellis.